Thanks for staying with us. So it feels common for Africans to shy away from discussing the issue of will or even considering to think about it because we always assume that asking about your will or inher inheritance is to be written or it is like you're saying somebody's about to die and you don't want to be that person who is ready to die. Mm. <laughs> Joining us on the show is Mr. Rotimi Obimbe. Um, he's a member of the First Bank of Nigeria Quest Trustees team and he is responsible for strategy development in the FBNN Quest Trustees. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you very much. It's good to have you. And I'm told that your name is actually Obende, not Obembe. It's actually Obende. Obende. Oh, Obende. good to have you. Obende, <laughs> thank, you, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. All right. Wills and inheritance are something many don't like to talk about. Uh, my personal story is that, you know, even at the point of, of, of when, we, when, my, when, my, when my mother was diagnosed with illness and, you know, the reality was coming to our face that, okay, this might be, we didn't want to accept it. But I tried to ask her the conversation, okay, what would you like? And she looked at me and didn't say anything. And just felt like, in my mind, I just kept my mind, I just zipped up. Mm. I had not think that I'm thinking that, I, that you know. So it's a, it's, a, it's a story that we don't want to talk about. Yeah. So how do we begin to plan for our wheels? And how do we, when do we start to plan for those wheels? Okay, so it's not really about wheels. It's about estate planning. And okay. estate planning is the structure that you put in place today that helps to minimize crisis. There are a lot of crises out there. Now, so when you talk about estate planning, you then decide that there are basically two tools that you can use. You can decide to use a will, which we all traditionally know, and a trust. Now, in talking about a will, a lot of people, and you said it rightly, first thing is that people will think that you want me to die. Mm -hmm. But we found out that when you start to plan, the reality actually dawns on you because there are a lot of things that you need to consider if you have children yeah, and if they are minors. What we see in African setting is, irrespective of who acquired the asset, you will be shocked that the family, if it's a man and a woman involved, and is the, woman, the man that passes away, the family immediately comes in and they take over everything, leaves her with nothing. So everybody needs to start to think about it. It's a conversation that we are willing to have and we are asking everybody to start to <coughs> actively have those conversations. You know, so you call it... Sorry, Mary, uh, th this is interesting to me because what happens when the... If the man even writes a will, there are times when the family will still come and then they will just Contested. qualify the will or the will will not see the light of day. They will still take over. So in that kind of situation, what will the woman do, the wife do? Because there are a lot of times when the when we will or no will, the, so no, they will come and tabaloo everything, the wife is left with nothing. So it's important to understand the two tools. And when you talk about using the two tools, to be able to use it very well. In a number of cases, what we see people do is that they name either their wife, their spouses, or family members as executors. You, start to, you need to start to think about um, engaging professionals, institutions. So I'll give you an example. Imagine if an institution like FBN Quest Trustees, everybody knows, comes in as the executor and family members come and say they want to take over the property. Mm. They can't do that because they will be dealing yeah, with really an sure. institution. Mm. Yeah. So we need to have that shift from naming, using individuals as executors mm. and start to use institutions. Mm. That way, you're dealing with a corporate organization. Yeah. Oh. I can assure you that you are dealing with a bigger elephant in the room right. than if it's just the wife. Uh, Mind, don't, uh, don't also forget. <laughs> yeah. yeah, thank okay. you. Don't also forget that at the initial stage, the woman is demoralized because she's considering mm. and wondering, how do I first take care of this mm -hmm. loss that yeah. I'm experiencing? Which is not and so that's why it is then important to also have a trust in place. Let me quickly explain what a trust will mm -hmm. do for you. Okay. Unlike a will that kicks in after the demise of the testator, the testator being the person that wrote the will, the trust comes in immediately, it is executed. So in the lifetime of the settler, that's the creator of the trust arrangement. Mm -hmm. So for example, you decide you want to create a trust, have a trust in place. You then fund the trust, the trust kicks in. A lot of your assets are held by another party known as the trustee. So when family members come, just to go back to your story, they see that 
properties that were bought, they thought were bought in the name of the man. They suddenly realized that it's bought in the name of a trust arrangement that had nothing to do with either the name of the man or the name of the wife. So I'll give you an example. I can set up a trust and call it laptop trust, buy all the properties in this world. I then name my wife and my kids as beneficiaries. Mm -hmm. So when family members come, they start to search for documents. They see that, ah, this man did not even own anything. Mm -hmm. I'll give you an example, Michael Jackson. During Michael Jackson's time, he set up a trust. When he passed away, Michael Jackson named his mom as the trust protector, meaning the person that would take care of the children mm -hmm. because they were minors, and then named three of his children as beneficiaries. Michael Jackson that went to court three or four times just to challenge that process because he was not named mm -hmm. in the trust arrangement. So he did not benefit anything mm. before he passed on. Mm. So you can actually create a trust that kicks in in your lifetime, put all your assets there. It prevents family members mm. from coming and thinking that they own everything. Yes, so, yeah, so, you know, I'm listening to you and talking about Michael Jackson, yeah, and then there's a Nigerian watch, and it's like, oh, I'm not Michael Jackson, I don't have all this sort of money. Are you saying, but I believe I have potential. So at what stage should I start thinking about this trust? Is it when I have made it or on my way to making it? You need to start thinking about it today. The truth is all of us are millionaires in our own right. And mm -hmm. it will shock you that for as little as one million people fight over it. Mm -hmm. So by the time you check your net worth, you will realize that you have enough assets that people are, you think are they're already planning on what to do about it. So it's important that you start today. We normally say at FBN Quest Trustees, when you start to work, because you have pension that somebody's, <laughs> I do apologize, dreaming about, family members want to take over it. Mm. You have assets that, you whether it's one property or two properties, if you follow the newspapers, a lot of the ones you review this morning, you see that family members actually fight over one property, mm. over two properties. Mm -hmm. There's also the aspect of culture. Some people believe that in some culture, although the Supreme Court has said that aside, that female children should not benefit. So if I have female children, I need to consciously have a plan in place such that nobody comes tomorrow and says they won't have anything. Mm. Mm. Uh, so, uh, um, I'm listening to you and I'm just happy that you know, this solution has come because where you have minors, you need a protector that even you don't trust sometimes within family. So I would like to see you to elaborate on how, if I had a trust, for instance, and my trust protector was someone, even I did not trust, who was covetous and is approaching and trying to, how do you do that? How do you deal with that trust protector in between? Okay, so there are because two they come, things. they uh, come now anyway, they will, or they'll bring the child. Okay, thank you. There are two things when it comes to trust protector. In a trust arrangement, the trust protector essentially does not have access to your assets or your funds. Mm -hmm. What they basically do is interface with the trustee and ensure that the trustee is carrying out your own instructions, mm -hmm. everything mm -hmm. that is stated in the trustee. Mm -hmm. So if, for example, you say, I want one million given to my wife as monthly allowances, the trust protector ensures that that is done. Mm -hmm. The second thing is <coughs> don't use an individual if it's practically mm -hmm. possible, again, depending on your net worth, use an institution. So for example, if your trust protector decides to travel to Canada mm. and leave in your children mm. or the necessary. beneficiaries are their mess, it becomes very or worst difficult. worst case, where they bring, okay, this is, let's say the benefic your beneficiary of your trust is your wife and your trust protector is your brother. Family holds a meeting and tells the wife, Mishombe, let me give you the check, pass it. What, at that point, what can FBN Quest do in between? For FBN Quest, it starts from the process of setting up the trust, and all of these conversations are part of what we put into structuring okay. whatever offering we're asking you to adopt. Now, the way the trust works is I can state up front that on a monthly basis, do this, pay school fees if I decide to create an education trust arrangement, okay. or provide monthly allowances for beneficiaries. That way, the money goes straight into the spouse's account, mm -hmm. And the, the, because it's a trust arrangement, a trust is private and confidential. Mm -hmm. So even family members are not aware of the creation of that arrangement. Now, if you have named your brother, or if I've named my brother as the trust protector, 
He only knows that my wife is receiving so, 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 and so amount. Now, it's now for the wife to come to us and say that I'm having this peculiar situation. Mm. This, uh, my in-law is prying too much into our activities. What can we do? We can then restructure it such that instead of her getting it into that personal account that the brother knows about, we can create some other structure because, that yeah. helps. Can, you, can, 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 I, can I ask this question? Can you give us an example of a brand a body that can actually help Nigerians have an inheritance without hassles. I'll clearly ask you to FBN Quest trust yeah. this. And that's because we've been in the business for more than 45 years. And mm. in helping clients put a structure in place is key that they understand that you are dealing with an institution that's been mm. there for that length of time. Now, FBN Quest trust is a subsidiary of FBN Holdings. And you know FBN Holdings is has been in the business for more than... The elephants yeah. the in the building. So, okay, so, <laughs> so um, because of the personal, the very personal... <laughs> uh, we've had issues where we would hear people who have bank accounts, and when they pass on, mm. it's the bankers that sort of take over the account. Uh, the family yeah. never know anything about it. Mm. So in this case, how does the family become aware? Yes, yeah, so it's private and confidential because it's not open to the public. So how does the family then become aware? The trust protector, and that's why it's key that you know you are nominating as your trust mm -hmm. protector, is the one that would then actually approach FBN Quest trustees to say, um, we know that he left a plan in place. Now, you can also tell your wife or husband, the beneficiaries. or the beneficiaries to say, to the extent that I have done something, if anything happens to me, please go and meet these people. Rotimi Obende has been my go-to person at FBN Quest Trust. So if anything happens, please go and meet him. Now, we do advise. Please do not tell them about the content yes. of what you as have. As which is, yes, be vague. You know, it is um, interesting. Okay, go ahead, wait, let me let you go. Yeah, because you said, I have a different question, but you said Rotimi Obende, but what if Rotimi Obende leaves? He locates to Canada. Mm. Himself. And he locates, he, he the, the trust is still there. FBN tr Trust, but so the account my person. own account officer, officer has now okay. relocated to Ghana. Because Canada. FBN Trust. Approach a trust. Um, what will happen say, now? Sorry. Because that's I'm not who... seeing you, but your family. Okay, so mm -hmm. that's why an institution is always better. Mm -hmm. um, it's like a barrack, or like a, the relationship so between a soldier and a barrack. Mm -hmm. The soldier can tra be transferred so anywhere. Come, so go. Thank you. But <laughs> the barrack remains. Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. FBN Quest Trust is remains. Rotimi can decide if he wants to mm. go to Canada. Now, when Rotimi leaves, somebody else takes over. Right, right. So that, that um, relationship will not be lost. Mm. So the assumption is that by the time Rotimi Obende leaves, um, you have not passed mm. away. So mm. the new relationship manager will get in okay. touch with okay. you. So I, I mean, I'm so happy about this conversation because I've always said it on the show several times that my, my grandfather died in 1976. And to my mother died, she was still receiving inheritance. Because he had, as far back as 1976, he had put it in a trust where every month from the elders, even after the elders have died and others have died, their children still get, it's like, it's unbelievable. So it's good that even now, many people don't know that this actually exists. So it's good that there are two tools which I've learned this morning. The will is the one that you write down. Mm -hmm. The other one is a trust where there's an institution that's actually helping you. So, so for, the, for going back to what Mariam said earlier, a regular term, you're just earning 100,000 mm -hmm. a month. You have a wife, you have two kids. Do you do the will or do you do the trust? Which one is better is based on your financial capacity? Based on your financial capacity, you can do both. Because the will simply says, these are my assets. When I pass away, this is how you then distribute and or manage the assets. Mm -hmm. However, a trust says, a trust is an advancement of a savings account mm -hmm. with your bank. The difference is that your trust account names beneficiaries your bank account names, uh, let's say, your nest of kin. And I so with... So you'll be funding the bad trust, you'll be putting money yes, every month. you'll be every putting money into oh, okay. the trust. Okay. okay. So, so the, the funding of the trust, mm -hmm. the funding of the trust depends entirely on you. Oh. So you can say that I want to keep 200 or 20,000 every month and build it up to what my intentions are. Your intentions in the long run might be that you want your kids to go to Harvard. So you start to save for their education. So that's why they call them trust fund babies. Thank you. Oh. Now, like you said, <laughs> that trust can transcend generations. So you're looking at a dynasty arrangement. Dynasty. I can set up a dynasty. trust today and say that that trust managed by FBN Quest Trusts will last the next five generations. 
that structure will be put in wow. place. Every child knows what they get. Every grandchild knows what they get. And I can also structure it such that every single person that marries into the Obende so family let's just gets something. We have to so run I open one time. question. <laughs> was, just for clarity, for information. So I open an IBM Quest account now, and I start to deposit. I start to deposit into a trust. Yeah, okay. So That's all we can take. Oh, yes. If you have, if you have any more questions, Lely. directly go and meet them in their office. <laughs> go to a question. We're going to break. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned. Your view.